Hello and welcome to uh, Lumsden, a uh, little place tucked away in the Peak District near to Matlock. Uh, most of Lumsden is shut today. It's got these old mills that look amazing. And unfortunately, I can't get into them everywhere's locked. So what I decided to do with my good friend John is today is the first day we can come out and about with a friend is to scout up and down the area around the Lumsden Mills looking for water features like this, uh, the fantastic rivers and there you go, look at that, They're coming through with all the moss, absolutely beautiful and I think we're going to get some cracking shots of these places. So this will be a sort of uh, run and gun video shoot. I'm going to go to as many places on the way that we can just stop off and get some shots. So expect some, I hope, varied uh, images. We went to Mam Tour this morning, but the light was shocking and the wind was really strong. So unfortunately, we didn't do any Mam Tour shots. But uh, hopefully Lumsden's going to pay off. And after this, we may make our way over to Baslo uh, and then through the day, just see what we can find. We're going to follow our own trail. We're going to blaze our own trail. For this one, where you saw the water feature in the back, uh, I'm going to show you the setup. It seems to, it's man-made. Uh, the water seems to be coming through uh, a, possibly a kind of pipeline. And we noticed that there was uh, some sort of still water or maybe there's a water source to the far end. We couldn't get in because it's all locked off. But it comes through this pipe, it's absolutely gushing through, falls onto the rocks. Just bring that into focus there. Falls onto the rocks quite nicely. There's a little, little pool below. But better, even better to, to make that work is this here. Uh, that's a mixture of rocks and tree roots, all coated in moss. So I think I'm going to use that as my lead. I've dropped the camera down, it's right down here. There you go. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's switch this around and you can see what I'm shooting. Now, unfortunately, the reflection on the screen is a bit grim, but hopefully you can see that, how I've set that up with the water falling into that foreground. I'm going to do a few shots. I'm going to drop lower. I'll just bring it around, drop lower and see how that functions. And then also do a few shots with it further up. So we're just catching that little pool of water there. Hopefully that's going to work out great. Let's see. Well, the run and gun journey has brought me back to Baslo Edge and the woodland, uh, just to the, the side of it, I guess you'd say. I love it here. Uh, you've got the, the silver birch, you've got the interesting brooks and streams that run through it, and then at the bottom, there's a river, which we got, I'm going to head to next. But also this um, former, I guess, probably farmhouse, something like that. It's, it's basically a lot of rocks from a building, it's as much as I know, that's covered in moss surrounded by silver birch and uh, I found a few more shots I think and when I was saying before that it's a case of walking around a place to find the right composition this this is exactly the, the place to do it and the shadows are different for this time of day uh, there's there's more trees have fallen uh, good and bad you know you can make of that what you will when you get to your composition and yeah I do move a few trees now and then it's uh, but it's good and I'm hoping to pick up some nice moody compositions from this even though it's it's quite bright we've got a kind of a mix of cloud and sun bopping through so that the light is changing every few minutes really and it's just catching the right place with the right light and in fact here comes the sun now hopefully it's going to produce some nice nice shots here let's see how that works out You know when the pro YouTubers say uh, get low when you're taking your composition? They're not kidding. And this is a good example of why. Uh, let me show you the, 
next picture that I've got in mind. Here it is, absolutely beautiful. Uh, got that lovely drop there coming down to these rocks. And all the way up, it's been like this. Absolutely fantastic. So, uh, what I'm going to do though is as nice as that looks, I'm going to bring it down low. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. So, I can bring these rocks into the foreground. Okay, I'll show you how that looks on the lens. Well, on the screen. So there you go, look at that. Now with that cropped in tight, this is just using a kit lens. Look at that, got those uh, trees on the side, well branches which are a bit annoying, but well, I think we can get away with that. I think the strength of the composition is gonna uh, work in our favor and make those branches just disappear. So there you go, let's see how that one looks. Good morning. Uh, today I'm somewhere a little bit different from the usual landscape shots. I'm at Rudyard Lake and uh, I'm going to be shooting some boats, some water, some trees and that's pretty much it. But I thought it would make a nice change to shoot down to Rudyard and get some of these shots. This is different for me. I don't, I don't normally do like man-made objects really. But I think there's some great shots can be had with uh, anything on the water really. Uh, the sun's rising a little bit. It's quite early still. You can see there's clouds reflecting on the lake. So I'm hoping to catch some of that as the sun brightens up just a little bit. Um, get a few more clouds in the sky. Look at that up there. Quite nice. I uh, bought a few lenses with me. Uh, I've got, in fact, I've got the kit lens, the 50mm prime and the 7200, which is probably going to do the bulk of the lead work today because it, you want it to get tight in on some areas and then of course you want to try and take in a big vista uh, so it should be fun uh, hopefully the shots will uh, show you what kind of fun i've had a couple of guys in a canoe there i think they're going fishing not for me <laughs> 